my name's Silva, Joshua Silva. I'm a professor of physics here in the university, although actually I took early retirement some hmm, over 10 years ago now in order to concentrate on uh, a particular interest of mine, which is vision and how to correct vision in the developing world. During the 1980s, I started working on a different technology. I started developing lenses which had a rather interesting feature that they could, you could change the focus of the lens. Um, now this might sound a little strange, but everyone is familiar with variable focus lenses because everyone has two, one in each eye. The eye inside your lens has the property that its focus, you can, the focus can change, but you're not really aware of it, but that's what it does. Initially, the lenses that I made were rather crude, but in May 1985, I um, used a trick that I was familiar with from my research in atomic physics to make a lens which was a very good optical quality but had variable power. And I looked through it. And I'm myopic, and I noticed if I looked through this lens and I changed the power, I could see clearly. In other words, I could accurately correct my vision or my myopia and I, I found that very interesting and um, I started to think about very various questions one question comes to mind is well how many people are there in the world that need glasses and don't have them and maybe they could use the approach that I had started off using on myself and perhaps this would give a route to correct vision for very large populations um, so your challenge is to make glasses which anyone can adjust for their own vision and can be made for a dollar or so uh, in very large uh, numbers so that you can solve this problem. And that is the project. The project is to make eyewear at very low cost for very large numbers of people where they can make the eyewear to their own needs. And so I actually set off on a path of research to see whether um, a wearer would be able to make their own eyeglasses to correct their own vision. And I'm still doing that, in fact, and I've published several research papers on it. But um, the answer is yes. These are a developmental pair. Uh, their history is quite interesting, and they show you how this approach works. So um, I'm... I put the glasses on, I keep both eyes open, I cover one eye with both eyes open, I adjust the lens until I can see the word Sony on the camera clearly, without them I can't read it. I do the same with the other lens, and there we are. What I did there was to make lenses, uh, customise lenses for each eye so that I've got good vision correction. Having done that uh, with this particular embodiment, I then do up these screws and I cut through the tubes and I take off the adjusters and I end up with something like this, which I can wear. And as you saw, that whole process takes some minutes and it's effectively instant universal eyewear. Mm -hmm.